Here is my DCEU update for the week. And this week's update is all going to revolve around the Snyderverse. It's the talk of what's going on. We're not hearing much about a lot of the movies that are in production right now, but we are hearing a lot about the Snyderverse, and there's a lot happening on social media. And all three stories that I'm going to talk about do revolve around Zack Snyder's universe that he has created. And the first of these is Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, actually had a spread in Total Film magazine. And in that magazine, they have some new stills from the film and some, well, they're basically production stills. They're not directly from the film, but they are some production stills. And I'll leave a picture, you know, some pictures of those here on the video. And The Rock, Dwayne Johnson came out and said he knows for certain that his Black Adam is going to fight Superman at some point. And so we will see them on the screen together. And he says, whatever Superman that is, it is going to happen. I don't like the fact that he had mentioned that, you know, whichever Superman it's going to be. But it it's definitely going to happen at some point. And I am fairly certain it's going to be Henry Cavill. And we'll talk about that here in a few minutes. But what's interesting about the Black Adam movie is there were also some comments came out and some quotes where they originally had padding in the Black Adam suit. And... Dwayne Johnson hated the padding, absolutely hated it, and tore it out the first day of filming and wanted to make sure he was big enough. And he definitely did show many, many videos and pictures of him working out during the production of Black Adam so that he was big enough to fill out the suit because he thought it looked ridiculous with the padding and he didn't want to have that look like the first Shazam had. So he kind of corrected all of that. So that's the first story. You know, Dwayne Johnson, Black Adam, that is coming out here in 2022. And I am excited for that movie. And it's going to be interesting to see. He's been a big proponent of the Snyderverse and wanting to make it, you know, help make it continue. And I know that his his talent agent or his whoever handles him, you know, his uh, handler, his whatever they call it, he is the same person who represents uh, Henry Cavill, I believe. So those things are tied together, definitely behind the scenes. Now, that leads us to the next story, which is Henry Cavill, Superman. He has made several comments over the last week in regards to playing Superman, how he's waiting for that call. He still has a suit. And he actually said he tried it on recently and said it still fits. And so he is excited to come back. He wants to play the character. He's made that known. This is the first he said on any of this over the last couple of years. And he's been quiet. Uh, This merger is happening with Discovery. And they're not going to be able to say much until that merger hits. But I guarantee you these individuals have had conversations with the head of Discovery. So I I think it's all coming, again, it's coming to a head, and we're going to see a full-blown restoration of Snyder when that merger happens. The other proof I have of that is Zack Snyder himself on Vero has been posting more pictures. And he posted one recently where he said, I can't remember exactly what the caption was. I'll put it here in the video. And it's the same building where Bruce met with with Martian Manhunter at the end of Zack Snyder's Justice League. So he keeps posting things that have to do with Final Crisis, the notebooks. He's posting, you know, he did the slate about a month or so ago. He's doing this picture from the query. It, it It's all tied together. There is definitely something happening behind the scenes, and anybody who denies that at this stage doesn't know what they're talking about. It, it, it There's too much proof. And Zach has never been the guy to do something and then there not be a result on the other end. He doesn't do stuff to just tease the fans. So I'm looking forward to whatever's going to happen in the future. I If you don't have a Vero account, I, I'm only on there and I just follow him and Ray Fisher, and I can't remember who the third person is, but they don't, they don't ever post. But I do get all of their posts and I can tell you that there's something happening. There is definitely something happening. And the next couple of years are going to be great for DC fans. I cannot wait until this Discovery merger happens. If by some chance Discovery takes over and it, they blow it all to crap, it's going to be disastrous for them, for their shares, and for everything else 
that they have planned uh, because there will be boycotts and everything else if they don't listen to the fans. And I can tell you the discovery, David Zaslav, Zaslav, I don't know how you say his name. He uh, he has come out and said he is going to be listening to his fans. That's one of his number one priorities. And that is what the fans want is for Zack Snyder's universe to be restored fully. And every bit of evidence that has come out over the last month or so is pointing to that coming to fruition. So stick to my channel as these big updates come out. I will be doing videos for them. And I will see you guys on the next video.